Hey you guys, this is Ashley for FD 1111 Ministries, home of Tarot, Bible, and Alchemy. So yes, we are doing this. We're doing this. We're on a three-day fast by the time you see this video. So I'm doing it the day before, but by the time you see this video, we have already started our three-day fast, our prayer. I have made some recommendations. I posted it on the community tab as well as on the Patreon. So the Patreon, those posts are public so you can go there you can visit them i will be posting different things just to help us in, to encourage and to keep us motivated now some things to keep in mind with this fast is that once you have determined what type of fast that you're going to do that you have to stick with it if you that's why you really have to really align like if you say oh i'm gonna do a three-day water fast but then you end up slipping up that's a it's a covenant it's a contract so when you make that contract you break it then all in void so aligning and seeing what type of fast that you are physically prepared to commit to is very important so once you have established what type of fast you have committed yourself to doing then you need to make sure that you um, have aligned that with what type of prayer that you're going to do so i have the two different types of prayer very basic um, removing strongholds like what strongholds do I have to remove that can be addictions that could be habits hang-ups that you want to remove any types of obstacles or am I to call in things because I've already done the removal out of my mental and emotional garden I've already de-weeded those strongholds out of my garden so I'm ready to walk them something in so those are two different types of prayers and then you have to establish when and how often that you're going to do those prayers Five, specifically the numbers that came up were five and three times a day. So five, um, that is of harmony. And then three was uh, for wisdom and for knowledge and bringing that wisdom and knowledge into your life. So depending on what one that you feel comfortable with doing, and I'm big on numbers, that those are the two numbers that came through. Now, if you can only do once a day, as long as you commit to it and you keep it, that's cool I also posted about like a sacrament aka a ritual to do and what this is is like you take a shower every night anyway so get you a bottle of either olive oil because olives are uh, highly vibrational they're mentioned in the biblical text quite a bit especially in the New Testament when they're talking about anointing you can get walnut oil that has a high frequency, especially for prosperity and breaking strongholds, or you could get avocado oil. And avocado is a very light, transactional type of energy. So get one of those three types of oil, you pray over it, and after you have taken your shower, so you're removing all of any type of negative thoughts, any type of hindrances out of your mind. Everything is about the subconscious mind, so you want to de-weed or remove any of that type of energy. And then after you get out the shower, you want to put the oil on your skin, but you want to rub your, your body from head to toe. And as you're doing it, you want to pray over yourself. And this is not just for protection, but also for the stamina to continue through the fast and to make yourself a conduit for the Holy Spirit, the Rahak HaKadash. Although I'm still learning biblical Hebrew, I'm returning back to that. But um, yeah, you can look that up. I'll have it listed down below. But the Rahak, Rahak is, I'm probably saying it wrong because it's more in the throat, is spirit. It, the spirit, it could be also made reference as the breath, the breath of your body. But the spirit, but what makes it different is the Ha Kadash, which is the holy, the holy spirit. You want to invite the Holy Spirit in. You can call it divine spirit. But the word holy is about making yourself holy yourself. Holy means like my higher self has aligned with my physical self. My carnal body, my carnal mind has aligned with my higher mind, my spirit man, my spirit self, my higher self. So when those merge, that's the alchemical marriage that I make reference to quite frequently. So we want to be able to be holy ourselves, fully holy ourselves, walking amongst the earth, no different than Christ, fully God, fully man, but dwelled in the physical reality to break the constructs of the physical reality. A lot of the things that he did was quote unquote physically uh, impossible. And there were prophets before him that did, you know, do miracles, but they had to go through a whole lot of sacraments, AKA rituals in order to be able to do so. And they have to, you know, anyways, I don't want to get all into that, but pretty much we're making ourselves a conduit for the Holy Spirit, for the Rahak HaKudash, 
to indwell in and to help lead us and guide us through this three-day journey but this three day this but this three-day journey is preparing us for the different obstacle courses in our lives so obstacle courses think of this as something that is fun obstacle course I'm going to the gym um, I'm going to go not just work out you know spiritually work out work out my faith muscle but I'm also going to have fun while I'm doing it so we're talking about transmuting our thoughts as a reminder make sure that you have like removed anything out of your home that may be hindering you or tempt you while you are doing your fast whatever fast that you have committed yourself to doing any type of media that may keep you in that lower frequency that keep you in the carnal mind uh, so that it will hinder you from connecting to your spirit mind to your higher self to your spirit man um, yeah so I'll be posting frequent like post primarily on the community tab instead of doing like videos and then um, I do smaller videos over on patreon but I thank you guys so much if you're interested in joining the patreon that will be linked down below thank you guys as well patrons for your continued support over there I thank you guys subscribe if you want to and I'll talk to you guys later all right peace go get your blessings go get them go get them yay you know go get your blessings Woo!